It's Friday, time for another Sheezy Award. Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Debbie. I am the She in Sheality TV, and today is Friday, so that means it's time for another Sheezy Award. Today's Sheezy goes to the most disrespectful person on reality TV, and I think you guys all know who that is. It's Chris from Married at First Sight. That dude, I can't even call him a man. That Dude, that guy was disrespectful to Paige from the very first time he laid eyes on her. He was rude and disrespectful when he saw her and apparently wasn't physically attracted to her. Like he's some prize with teeth like a can opener. He was rude and disrespectful when he used her on their wedding night multiple times. He was rude and disrespectful for, that for the entire time that they were on that show together. He was rude and disrespectful to Paige. I have to say though that Paige let it go on for way, way, way too long. This dude gaslit her time and time and time again. It bothered me so much that because I PVR the show, I would just fast forward through them. I wouldn't even watch, it got to a point where I didn't even watch them anymore because it was so disturbing. His treatment of her was so disturbing, I just, I couldn't watch it. And she was so calm and too gracious, I couldn't watch it, I couldn't watch it. Even though he was not physically attracted to her and he said, I'm not physically attracted to her, did you not figure that that might be a possibility when you signed up to marry someone that you didn't know, had never met? There's always a possibility that that could happen. But to not be a grown up and go through the process like an adult, rude, just rude. At every turn, he had to push the knife in deeper. Like, dude, she's already hurting. She's already humiliated. She's already embarrassed because she's doing this whole marry a stranger thing in front of the entire planet with someone who is nasty to her. Then he brings in his, oh, brings in his ex, the ex fiance or whatever you want to call her. Oh my, my ex is pregnant. I'm sorry, I'm still not buying that. I'm, so she supposedly had a miscarriage, but I don't think she was ever pregnant, ever. It felt like he was trying to use the pregnancy to get out of his contracted marriage. Didn't buy it, still don't buy it, never gonna buy it. And then when he felt like he had pushed her too far away, he would come back and tell her, I think I'm falling in love with you. She should have punched him in the throat, is what she should have done. And it felt like she was gonna fall for it again. And that is when I stopped watching. So, I get it. You're not physically attracted to her, but that doesn't mean she's any less of a human being. She's still a human being. She's still a woman worthy of, more than worthy of treating with respect and dignity. And he couldn't even do that, which was, it was hard to watch. And I don't know what they sign up for. I don't know what that contract looks like. I don't know what is in that contract, but I, I'm, I'm not, I don't really get the feeling that they read through it in its entirety before they sign it. Do you ever get that feeling? Do you get that feeling with some reality TV shows that the people who are on them don't fully read through them and understand what they're getting themselves into? Because both Paige and Chris felt like they weren't getting what they signed up for, but they signed a contract. And it feels to me like yeah, naturally, Paige did not get what she signed up for. Nobody would sign up for what Chris gave Paige. No one. But at the same time, contract or no contract, she let it go on for too long. Way too long. And no, I'm not blaming the victim. I don't do that. That this is not a mad... Paige is not a victim. Paige isn't a victim. This wasn't a case of her 
um, putting up with something that she had no control over. Paige could have walked away. Paige could have said, listen, yes, I signed a contract, but this is not what I signed. You did not tell me that I was going to be humiliated and degraded on national TV. I didn't sign up for that. And let the chips fall, right? That's, but she's, like I said, she's a much, clearly, she is a much more patient, gracious person than I am. And yeah, Chris, disgusting behavior, disgusting. And the whatever decision day is coming up and I've seen a clip of that and I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like what I'm seeing, but that could all be like the way the clip ha has turned out could all be just a matter of editing. Cause you know how they, they'll edit the clip to look like, Ooh, something big is going to happen. I better tune in and then nothing happens. It might be a case of that. So thank God I'm PVRing it again. I'm just going to fast forward through it. If, if it turns out to be, you know, a case of baiting and switching. Yeah, I won't be watching, but yeah, Chris, congratulations. You got the cheesy for being the most disrespectful person on reality TV. You should be ashamed. I'm sure your family's ashamed. I think Chris got on the show to get laid, plain and simple. I don't think, I don't think he got on it for clout. I don't think he got on it for the attention, like to be on camera. I think he got on it because he thought he would get married to someone that he was physically attracted to and he would get all the sex he wanted. That's what I, that's how I feel. But I could be wrong. Doesn't happen often, like I said before, but I could be wrong. That's all I've got for Chris and this Friday's Cheesy Award. My name is Debbie, this is Sheality TV. I will see you next time.